you know, me being a famous YouTuber and all, I get all the fan mail. Starting with this one right here. You definitely feel a lot more classy when you're holding a full-size coffee cup and not one of those plastic or paper ones. I feel like Casey Neistat, you know, I have to hold the coffee cup, steer the car, shift gears, and talk to a camera at the same time. Distract the driving for the win, baby. Jonathan Haberman, holder of the potentially world's shortest video. It's over, guys. I can talk now. Oh, wait, that one belongs to me. We look young back then, I'm telling you what. I just finished this book by uh, John Prescott. Scott Prescott? No, it's John. John? I would like to thank you for spending $7 to send me something. That's uh, it's like every penny I've ever made on YouTube, so thanks. I just finished the book, uh, A War on Art, and this is uh, another one in his series called Turning Pro about us uh, budding artists or anything like that who are trying to turn our amateur amateur-ish type of, type of hobbies into a more profitable full-time gig and these are just some of the um, habits uh, just stuff that the professionals do routines what they eat for breakfast oh I eat oatmeal and two bananas because they're high in uh, vitamin C and I gotta get my blood juices pumping and I sit down at the computer every day at 9 o'clock. And if nothing comes out, it doesn't matter. Because I just sit in a chair. But there's something special about this edition. Because uh, everybody who's um, gotten this book so far has written a little passage about what they thought about it. The man. Auckland, New Zealand. This thing's been around. If you wanted to get a super bug started, just start it on an airplane. Because airplanes travel all over the world. Like this, if I coughed on this book, I could potentially get the world sick. <laughs> and I got a little note here. I do hope you enjoy this book as I have most importantly. I hope you can apply some of these ideas to your life. Hey, you know, I'm young, so people will say, what do you really know? Well, what does this guy really know? He's been, he's been around the world a couple of times. You know, he looks like he's about 70. Don't give up on your dreams because a lot of people and I mean a lot of people, have really hit it hard at 40. Kevin Hart had been poor. He was, he was so poor that he needed help to pay his electric bill or something like that. He, he was asking Louis CK for help for his uh, electric bill. Look where he is now. Bill Burr, people like that. Stephen Prescott, I mean, he, he just made it now. People are just starting to discover his stuff now. He made books in the 2000s, nobody knew about him till now. So. You know, patience is the number one thing that you gotta that you gotta think about. Patience. Nothing comes nothing comes easy, nothing comes fast. Nothing worth it is easy and nothing easy is worth it. You know, like nine to five jobs where you could just la di da it out, do nothing all day. Why? If life is a masterpiece, why not make it the best masterpiece of all? Some people want their coloring page and they just want to color in the lines and die on time, but me me and John, we were commenting back and forth about everybody dying at the age of 25. Not literally dying, but their dreams die, you know? They they pick up their, uh, they pick up their cog and they stick it in the machine, and now they're part of it. And not that that's a bad thing, you know? Some people just, just want that, and that's good because we need you to make the, the machines run, you know? You are a part of the machine that needs to keep on running, but some of us need to break out of the machine, you know? So that's another point, you know? When, when, you, when you get your one thing, it seems he's really pounding this format into the ground. But, it, but it's something that you need to do, you know, if you see something that you did is uh, popular for some reason, find out what it is that made that thing popular. If it's popular, I mean, and you like to do it, why not do it, you know? If I had a series of, of things that was actually successful. I think that's the uh, that's the thing I'm trying to find, you know, something that I like to do and that people actually want to see. Cause, uh, I, I seem to do a lot of things that people don't want to see, but I really enjoy doing, or maybe maybe that's all in my head. I don't know, but I'm really gonna enjoy this, uh, enjoy this book, and um, thank you, thank you again for um, sending it my way. Got a little spl splurb from uh, Stephen Prescott there. You don't need to take a course or buy a product. All you have to do is change your mind. Some good shit. Oh, what's this? 
I got another one? I didn't expect this one. Oh, all the way from Australia. That's, that's insane, dude. That's crazy. Like, how far is Australia from me? This crocky dying under, mate. I got it upside down, too. See? It actually fell upside down. Oh, train! Train alert! Which side is it on? I think it's on. I think it's coming this way, right? I, I can't see. Yeah, there it is. Train alert! Oh, that's right, baby. You like that train? Oh, yeah, that's some good quality train. Forever I've been here, I have no clue what that thing is. I think it might have been something, one of those coal things. You know how, how they needed coal at the station? You think that was something that held the coal? I think it's over here. Talk about international illnesses. But I've got, I've got, got some stickers. He said if you, uh, if you sign up at his website, he'll send you a sticker. And, uh, got me some, got me some stickers and you know the guy's good when he shares his, when you share a name with him. Patrick, what up? Your North American correspondent. Gotta stick these everywhere. It's a nice sticker. I love his, I love his logo. It's really, you know, like cute and stuff. Reminds me of Plants vs. Zombies, how everything in the game is really cute. Been getting into that game a bit. Been trying to not really waste my time. But then again, if you're if you're having fun with the game, is it really a waste of time? Or did you just need a break? I don't know. But I just wanted to get this get this out there. Old puppy is dead, and like a professional YouTuber, I forgot my battery. So uh, I will end it here. If you want this book after I'm done, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to give myself a time limit, like by Christmas. Before Christmas, I want to be done with this, and I want to give it to somebody as like a as like a Christmas present, either before or a bit after. So if you want it, hit me up. I don't know. I know. I know you like. I know you like the inspirational type of stuff, Pablo. So maybe it maybe it'll come to you. But if not, somebody else. I got to keep the train going. Tap into your inner power and create the life's work. The war of art. More like the war. Of <laughs> the great way to end something. <laughs> All right. <laughs>